Okay, welcome back. Today we're putting in the half shafts, which go right here between the differential and the trailing arm. And here we, we have our half shaft. So I'll show you all the hardware needed and the specs, uh, the torque specs, etc. So first of all, we've got uh, two of these clamps, U-bolt. We've got lock washers and nuts. And those all go against the differential side and the specs. And you can see here, four, five, and six with a number two. Four is the U-bolt, five is the washer, six is the nut. Number two is 14 to 18 foot-pounds. So that's uh, this side and that goes in up here. And then on the other side, we have this, looks a little bit different. This goes against the, um, it hooks up to the, actually to the wheel. Uh, so it's on, it's on the trailing arm side and that gets this piece, which is the lock and, and just a bolt. And the bolt gets number one torque, which is 60 to 90 foot pounds, kind of a lot. And these, they use these kind of locks. Somebody said they're called French locks and they would go over this part like that. And then these go in, the bolts go in and the tabs, I'll show you over here. The tabs will press up against one of the sides of the bolt. So it'll be against one of the sides. There's actually a little diagram here they'll press up one of the sides and then they'll just be touching the other point. So you just need one of the tabs is actually functional. The other one is not really. And I guess they do that so you have options when you torque this down. You just flip up the tab that's gonna be flat and then just put the other one up. Um, I do have one of, let me see if I can show you. I did damage one of mine uh, when I took it out, so I probably, you know, the, the prudent thing to do would be to get new French locks. Uh, I didn't do that. It's a good idea. I might swap. I'll change it later. Maybe I just want to get this back together and then I can, I can always uh, unbolt a couple bolts and put it back in once it's in the car. Not a big deal, but I would recommend getting new ones of these. I didn't do that. I kind of want to get these back in the car. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and put them in. But I will probably at some point replace these and I have to keep an eye on the bolts uh, to make sure they're not loosening. But I've got all the original bolts, everything cleaned up. So I'm going to try to fit these without moving the trailing arm. One person said, or one source said, you have to unhook, you have to take this out, uh, which is their camber adjustment strut camber adjustment rod and uh, you might have to take this out so you can move this whole unit I don't know, out but I heard somebody else uh, or I read that somebody else did it without doing that so first I'm gonna try to just fit it in here and see if it goes so I'll check back with you in a minute okay so after some fiddling around um, I determined that I could not get the half shaft in without disconnecting this. So I've now disconnected the shock and the camera strut arm, and now I'm gonna put the half shaft in up here. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. Um, these bolts up here are 9 16 and it says to torque them to 14 to 16 foot pounds but I don't see any way of getting uh, a socket on any of these. I've been looking at it, maybe in the back there, I don't know, maybe over here, uh, maybe. I don't know, I'm gonna try. So what I've done is I set my, um, my small torque wrench to 200, 198 would be 16 foot pounds. Uh, 198 inch pounds which is what this guy does so I'm gonna try to feed this back there otherwise you know 
15, 16 foot pounds. You guys know what that feels like probably. Just make them tight. And I'm going to try to torque it, but I don't know. I'm not, uh, I'm not super optimistic about how you're supposed to get a socket on that. I'm going to try. Okay, so here's the view of the um, trailing arm side. And you can see the tabs there. So I'm going to torque these down and then uh, just bend the tab up wherever it fits, wherever it goes. But that's what that's supposed to look like. And um, just a tip, um, I kind of jiggled this, rotate it, you know, take your time. Don't, don't tighten one side down and then the other, just kind of work them all evenly. And you can rotate this by hand, as long as you're in neutral, of course, pretty easy. Uh, so I'll finish this side up and do the other side. So I was able to get a torque wrench uh, socket under here and I just went back and forth between putting the car in in first gear or whatever gear any gear and then uh, you can torque these down and then just put it in neutral rotate it to a position where you can access these bolts put it back in gear etc and now I found that using this uh, pencil unsharpened pencil or a piece of wood you can uh, use a little soft hammer and get these tabs up against the side and then just put the other ones up out of the way and you're good to go okay i think we're good to go i uh used a uh, bunch of different things a uh, little mallet like this i used this pencil <laughs> i used a big screwdriver to get to get things uh, where they need to be so I could tap those tabs down. Um, all the way, uh, by the way, these are 5 8 uh, 60 to 60 to 90 foot pounds on that. So I just did it to 80. Um, and uh, I think we're good to go. So these seem to work well. I'm going to do the other side, and uh, but I'm going to end this video here because it's a repeat of this. So I hope this is helpful. Good luck on all your projects.